Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we find the we need to find the length of AB, which is this side of this triangle. I'm gonna call it X. Um, and you notice this triangle is a right triangle. We have a very important theorem, Pythagorean theorem, it's called, and it says in a right triangle, like the one you see here, the sum of the square of the length of the legs is equal to the square of length. Of the length of the hypotenuse. So basically, if this this is the right triangle, these two sides are called legs. So let's say leg one and leg two. And this is the longest side of the triangle, and this is called the hypotenuse. So basically, the theorem says that it, if we square leg one, if we square leg two. And we add them, we get the hypotenuse square. This theorem is known better with this format a square plus b square equals c square. And you can interchange a and b, it can be this a and this b, or vice versa. But be sure the opposite to the 90 degree angles, the hypotenuse is c. So in our problem, we're gonna have, for example, a it's 5 and B it's 12, but like I said, you can switch this one, that is not a problem. So we have 5 square plus 12 square equal C square, which I call it X in this moment, X square. And here is nothing else than evaluate. 5 square is 25, 12 square is 144 equals X square. And then we have 25 plus 144, that is 169 equals x squared. And the last step for finding x is to take square root of 169. And since this is talking about geometry, a length of a segment, I don't need to put a plus and minus, just the positive value. And square root of 169 is 13. So basically, AB, the segment we're looking for, has a, a measure of 13 and that's it uh, you can put back that 13 and you notice that 13 is the longest side in this triangle so yes we have the correct work if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you